Um, uh, one reason why, though, is we got a couple more things we have to do with our fortress, our, our tutorial fort. Um, but we had an update, so I figured this would be an excellent opportunity to explain what we do when we have an update. And it's really simple. All you really have to do is just... The only thing you really, really worry about in your Dwarf Fortress folder, uh, if you have a game going already, is your saves. Uh, in the save folder, in, in Dwarf, Dwarf, Fortress, Dwarf Fortress folder, minus the EVF 2020. In data, and then in save, region, whatever region is the one that you're playing on. That's the one you. That's the only thing you have to really worry about. So if you want to move it over to a different game, you can, you can, you know, copy and paste it, whatever. You just install your new one into here. Make sure that region two, which is what I'm on, is that's the save. So does that make any sense? I'm sure it did. Uh, uh, so uh, 4703 is what we're on now, which does a bit of cleaning up. It does allow us, however, to place altars now. So maybe we'll take a look at that and uh, throw an altar out there. It doesn't do us any good, but it, it uh, well, it's there, I suppose. So that's something. Okay, so uh, let's see if I remember what's going on here. Um, I think I know what I want to do today, though. My my big plan is I think fortress defense is uh, is is the, the the plan for today because uh, we haven't been hit by a were beast of any kind or any sort of attack yet, and I feel it coming, and uh, and I don't want to die. So we're gonna focus on that. I think I do have a little bit set up already. We've got our our, our front door here. Let's do a bit of a tour, I suppose. Start this thing off. It's been a couple weeks since I played this game, so let's do a bit of a tour. Make sure we know what's going on around here. So we are uh, on a very fancy place. Hey, Karans. Very fancy place. Here. We got like a, a plateau going on. We got a river over this way and a waterfall. It's very, very pristine, like vacation spot. This is where all the vacation dwarves come to stay. And um, as you come into the fortress, you got some wood stock piles and stone stock piles. Don't worry about that. There's maybe a few bodies around where we murdered a few elves. Don't worry about that either. But you come in, you got a, a trap door right here at the front, and scurry on in up to the north you've got stockpile land up to the south you've got um what was south um wrong button what was all down here this was just um i think it's just oh barracks of course of course barracks that's the whole thing we're doing today um my barracks so like archer target we got a bunch of beds over here and uh some cabinets some coffers this is my my barracks as you walk in i need to smooth some floor i think it'll look a little nicer in here uh and then all uh, down the hallway you go big hallway you come into the trade depot, which I actually have inside the fortress, which I don't usually do. But there's a trade depot inside our fortress. And then uh, and then going, keep on going, double doors. You've got the kitchen. And you've got the uh, the dining room, all the tables and chairs. Let's get a little bit further here. Um, there's food and drink to the no to the top of, of, the, uh, of the, the dining room. Back here is the kitchen and the, uh, the still and all that. And then our well is right there, which goes all the way down to the caverns, which we hit last time. Um, if you go south of the trade depot... We've got uh, mechanics draw. All most of our basic workshops are down here. Bowyer, jeweler, they're all in this spot. Mason shop, um, carpenter shop. Yeah, they're all here. We got some wood logs. We got some chalk and chalk blocks. Wood logs, as opposed to other kinds of wood. And then up north here, we've got um, what was this one? This is our doctor's office. We got tables. We got traction bench. We got some buckets just for doctor folks. Looks like Udil is hanging out in there for a moment. Um, over this way, we've got some bedrooms for our original few. We can move this around a bit if we need to, because there's bedrooms downstairs. But um, more importantly here, we have our offices for uh, a few folks. we got like a door, a table, chair, just a little office, basically. And then uh, all the way up this way, right here, we have chickens. Chickens and nest, nest boxes. Our farm is over this way. Just a bunch of farm stuff over that way. We need to, I think, maybe figure out a way of blocking this off a little better. Maybe build some walls in here so we actually have a proper... Properly blocked off, because I'm a little bit concerned about it being blocked off. So we'll figure out something over there. See if we can figure out a way of... of sealing this a little better. Um, we, um... People are worried about... Um, we do have double doors here, so we'll keep people that way. So if you do get through here, they can get to the doors and then stopped, hopefully. Um, and then down this way, of course, we have the double doors. So that's, a, that's our defense right now. We need some sort of a... We can set a place up for our archers to sit and just shoot out some uh, some, some arrow slits. You know, that would be effective. It might work pretty well. If we can set up like a, uh, a little uh, wall outside here or something, we can do that. 
Um, on down, I think is where we go. Yeah, on down is where we go into the next layer, which is mostly our, um, our, well, beds. All of our bedrooms are over to the, this side. We've got all of our uh, temples and our, this is all temples or guild halls as well, down this way. And then over here, we have uh, our library, which is over this way. Hey, Bonner Rabbit, how's it going? Um, and then on down, we have a, uh, this is the jail. We have our, our pigtail ropes with, um, just one rope really, with an office for our jailer and a bed. He can sleep down there. And then keep on going. And we have, this is like um, production land. We got smelters, we got, uh, we got the, uh, the, the furnace. We have an ashery, a soap maker, and a metalsmith forge. So this is forge land. Um, there's, um, that's it, right? Yeah, that's it. So um, the main goal today is to get some sort of defense. That could be a good idea. And um, maybe some sort of clothing production. We don't have that yet. I didn't say any of that up, but did I? No clothing. I'm trying to think of what I have forgotten, what important things I've forgotten, and, and that is an important thing. I don't have any. Clothing. <clears throat> An altar to a tool and Titi can be finally built. That's right, Davy. That's right, Davy. I know you said that a long time ago, but yeah, we're just a bunch of naked dwarves running around. You know, it's vacation land, right? We got our uh, we got our, our waterfall over here and our and our yeah yeah, yeah naked people. It's fine. People are enjoying their lives. Okay, so as far as let's think about defense. Um, we, um, I think what I want to do, if we, if we can shut the door in time, no problem. Um, however, we put like a door here and then just kind of carve this out right in here somewhere and then put a wall up and then engrave that with arrow slits. We'll just have like a wall with arrow slits that we can shoot out of if we need to. We can maybe shoot out this way also. So if someone stands at the door, we can shoot them. We do have, we do have a little bit of defense because we've got these, these traps here. Cage traps, I think we got weapon traps here too. Yeah, one weapon trap. Um, some lizard remains there. Uh, so we got a little bit of defense, but then we could do that and also shoot as they as they come in. Um, we'll clear this out a little bit so it's a little bit more clear so we can shoot. But I think that's what I want to do. We can even put some arrow slits on this side so in case they do get in, we can still shoot them. Uh, if they do get in, we're kind of hose anyway. But uh, this will give our archer something to shoot at. So let's look at that. So I think what I want to do is we'll put a door right there and we'll come in and we'll do something like, that's probably big enough. We could do it on both sides, actually. Come over here and have another another setup over this way. And so both sides could have arrow slits carved into them. Uh, I think the door, the wall's going to continue actually this way, so we can probably go one more safely. Yeah. Because we're kind of on a cliff here. Like that. So we'll do that. We'll fill that all in. Do both sides just because it looks good. Is that the right size? Make sure it's even. Always important. Make sure it's even, especially if you're streaming because people yell at you. Uh, we'll do that one right there. So you can come in. And you can you can carve this stuff in. We'll put wall. We'll remove all this stuff and put walls in its place. We'll carve it all out, and then it'll be proper walls and all that. Okay. Okay. And our our archers are our, our military, military squad is already archers, I think. If I remember, I did it right. Uh, then we can we can sort of separate them and, and we can place burrows, which we haven't done yet, to have them marked out in there. So I just dug that out, just more digging. And can I come in here? Oh, yeah, the beds, that's right. Here my fortress starting, a bunch of badger people came along and stole all my stuff out of my cart. My dogs dropped a few of them before they escaped. Uh, no, no packs. This is, uh, this is, this is pure vanilla. What is, um, I'm surprised that Lazy New Pack hasn't been updated yet. It's been, it's been about a month now, hasn't it? Should be getting there. I keep on hollering at me about those lazy, those, uh, those beds. Um, oh, it's been carved out pretty quickly. So, I'm gonna carve out that last one because I'm gonna put a wall right there. So, let's go ahead and dig it out. I'm just gonna dig out, um... I can dig out all of this. These little spots here, too. I guess I can remove that one, too, can I? Put a wall there. Doesn't really matter. I can carve all of it out and just put walls in its place. Let's do it. Carve all of this as well. Okay. It's not that. Okay, there we go. 
I'm on 4703. This is the new one that came out yesterday. It just came out. <clears throat> okay, so they're still getting to getting work, carving that stuff out. Let's put some walls in here. Make sure I remember where I put them. And build a B, and then uh, shift C. What is shift C? It's, it's construction, is that what it's called? I forget. Shift C. Whatever it, whatever it's called. Uh, and then uh, walls, W. So, just like we did, we did the walls before, didn't we? Make walls before? I think I made walls before. Maybe I haven't. Let me go over that again. So, B for build. And then, um, what's it under? Shift C, which is here. So, wall, floor, stairs, track, that one. Shift C. And then we can make whatever constructions we want to make. So, we're going to make walls. And we're going to do just like we would do with farms. It's weird, but we have to do the uh, the UMKH thing. So we're going to carve these up to, like, right there. Put a wall there. Enter. And then tell you what you want to make it out of. We'll make it out of you know what, chalk or microcline. Microcline is pretty fancy. Chalk blocks... Microcline blocks. Um, let's make it out of chalk, nice and nice and white. That's fancy. We can know we can hit enter for each one. Or we can hit shift enter to just do all of them that way. We'll do more walls, just enter again, and then we're gonna do a little spot right there with more chalk blocks, and then we're gonna do the same thing up here as soon as he's done. Hmm. <clears throat> Um, hey, Kanika. Okay, that wall was done very quickly. That one's been carved out already. Things are happening fast. Uh, let's go ahead and mark this thing off like that. Same thing I just did before, but we're going to do it again. Uh, right there. And we make it out of chalk. We need plus and minus for this one. Chalk blocks. And another wall. It's going to go right there. You can use chalk. chalk. The difference between chalk blocks and chalk is basically chalk's just more... Chalk blocks are more efficient. Um, more, more blocks go further. If that makes any sense. Or chalk turns into blocks, which which goes further. Okay, so those have been carved out already. We can come in here into D, and then we can go into V. No, no, sorry, F. F to carve fortifications. And so what we can do is we come to these walls we just made, and we can say, I want you to have arrow slits in you. And so we can make, well, we can carve arrow slits into those walls. So we can stand on this side and shoot away. Mm -mm. And then we're going to go ahead and, uh, while they're doing that, I'm going to go ahead and D, and then I'm gonna, you get these ramps here. I'm going to remove these ramps. So that's going to be Z, remove stairs and ramps. So we'll get rid of those. Like that. I guess it's like we kind of have a bit of a fork. You know what we could also do? If this is going to be like a proper wall, we could actually have it come out a little bit and have like a tower out here. It would be extra fancy, wouldn't it? We'd have a bit of a choke point. Hmm, hang on a minute. Let's keep it here, though. We can come all out this way. I kind of like the sound of how, how that looks. How that sounds, anyway. Maybe. Maybe. Always make sure that we're not, like, putting any holes in our fortress. That would be a bad thing. Hey, Brig, how's it going? So, eventually, someone will come over here and start carving these out, and you'll be able to see. They'll, they'll show up. It's a little different. Um, maybe we might do that. We might come in and build more walls out this way, and, like, have a... Um, we could have arrows, so it's all along the way here. So if we had multiple arches, we could... Things came in, we could mow them down pretty good if we needed to. Hmm. Maybe. Let me set up a burrow. So, it's been a while for this. Make sure I know what I'm doing here. Uh, w it takes us into burrows. You can see it over here. Make burrows. And we're going to add a new burrow. A. So, burrow number one. Where do we want to put it? So, you, may, you have to go in and define it now before you can actually do anything. we got to enter. Define this burrow. Okay. So we're going to say the burrow is going to be that zone right there. Um, I think I can say both these are the same burrow, can't I? We'll leave it as this, though. Um, we can name it if we want. Uh, in, we're going to call this, this is going to be the uh, north enter, I spell entrance, enter, enterance, enter, in, in, <laughs> in, entrance. There you go. There you go. Okay. Uh, there you go, north entrance. So that's all you gotta do. Escape, get you out of there. And then we're gonna make another one, though. Add a new burrow. And we're gonna go with, uh, uh, enter for defining it and put it down here. Make you bottom of it. Uh, there. Same thing. Name it south. Entrance. Okay, so those have been marked. Uh, we'll, we'll, 
we'll, we'll go to it now, I guess, since we're working on it. Go to military, and we can go to the Misty Ships is our mark stores, right? Yeah. So we can go into, um, is it, make sure I know what I'm doing here. Okay, yeah. So we're going to go into, into, we can do it here, or we can go into our S, military squad, and go into view schedule. Um, so the Misty Ships, we've got these these months where they're not doing anything. So they're training one month, and they're not doing anything the other month. Let's go here and edit this order. Um, well, there is no order, so I'm not going to edit anything. Let's give them an order, O, and then we can tell them to defend a burrow is the new one we can do. So we've got multiple things that we can we can do, right? You can hit O and, mo and ro rotate through these things we want them to do. So we can, if we wanted to give them like a route, we could do that in here. We can say go from burrow 1 to burrow 2, back to burrow 1, you know, that kind of thing. Um, you can tell them to, well, patrol. Um, you got station, you can tell them just to stand in that spot. Um, you can tell them to train, like we've been doing. That's the one we've been using. Or you can have them defend those burrows where they just basically just stand in that spot and defend. Hey, Hendrik. I think we'll try, um, we can try, station's probably fine. Um, actually, we'll just station a couple. I'm going to put station, like, I'm going to have, this is the off... So they train one month, and then they're going to be off another month. Maybe what we do is we put in, we put just one guy in each one, just to have somebody there, so there's always someone around. Um, let's go. Um, one station, yeah, station. One soldier, I don't care who it is, but one soldier will be stationed in, um, hang on. I need to do that right. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oops. Station. And then, um... You know what? How do I... Ooh, do I... Do I say who? Hang on. Sorry. I don't remember how, I do, how I'm doing this here. Maybe we should defend Burroughs, because I don't remember how to do the other one. We should defend Burroughs, because I don't know how to do the other one. So we'll just defend defend north, north Entrance. One guy will go there, enter to make it green, and then shift enter. Okay. So one guy will be defending that one. And uh, we're going to go give another order. South Entrance. Enter. One guy. Shift enter. Sorry. Um, okay. We want to copy these orders as well. Because I want this to happen all the time. So now they're going to be... Oh, I didn't do that right, did I? Okay, hang on. Um, Because it rewrote re re it. Right, hang on, hang on. All right, let's go. Hang on, hang on. Hang on. Um, let's go in here and go back to my um, train. So we'll keep, we'll keep three of them training at all times. And we're going to place this everywhere. Uh, copy. So this one... Uh, did I do that wrong again? I did it wrong again! Hang on, hang on. So, train. And, give order. That one. Uh, well. One guy. Shift enter. Okay, so the training. You can see what's happening in this, in fell site. It's mixed. Three are training. One is defending. We're gonna add one more order. South entrance. I got it. Don't worry. Hey, Omo, how's it going? I know what I'm doing. I played this game before. Shift enter. Okay, so now you can see it's a mixed thing. The Misty Ships on the month of Felsight. Three of them will be training. One of them will be defending the north entrance. One will be defending the south entrance. Now we want to copy that and paste that all over. So we're no longer we're no longer having any off months for these guys. These guys are always working, but we've got enough soldiers around. We can handle that. Bronze Beards can still do what they want to do. But that way we've got somebody at all times doing... You'll have one person post at those spots as well as other folks training. Make sense? I understand it. So hopefully... I know what's, <laughs> sorry. Uh, um, so we should be able to see people. We'll come over here. We'll have folks stationed in here. Doesn't do any good yet because this thing hasn't been hasn't been carved out yet. But they'll get to it eventually. And then it'll make sense. Mm -mm, he's in here. Our training shooting. You can see him shooting the archer target. Excellent. Are you... Um, you are set, right? Active training. Okay. 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 Doors are getting made. Hey, look at that. We got somebody stationed in here. Excellent. What's your name? I'm going to give that guy a pin of rose on that guy's nose. Stackwood. Excellent. Good job, buddy. So he is stationed in his in his burrow. No one's made it to the north one yet. They'll get there. Nope. Hopefully. Um, let me go ahead and put a door here. And we'll put a door up here. Like that. Okay. This is the latest release. Yes. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't built a big enough fortress. There we go, we got a second guy up here in our burrow. I haven't built a big enough fortress to hit the, uh, 
FPS death in a while, so I'm not actually sure um, if it's improved any over the years or not. Um, all right, so that's that's some defense. Uh, let me go look through my dwarves. I have a bunch of new dwarves, right? We had a whole bunch. We got 41 now. Let me go see if we can build up this, this military. We only have five people in that first squad. So let's go back to M, to the Misty Ships, and see if anyone over here wants to. We're going to go to the bottom because that's our first our, um, our, uh, our first folks. We have Rhythmus here, a ranger. I may send in there. We'll take. We'll come back to him. We'll leave my ranger. We might let my ranger do his thing, go out and hunt and all that. We'll let him stay out of the military. But everyone else, this uh, Fath is a good bowman, so we'll bring him in. Let's start from the bottom. And we've got, you can see if they're already in the squad, like, Alath is already in the bronze beards. Okay, anyone else that has any skills? We got Id is novice. That works for me. Anyone else have any skills with a marks with a bow? Um, just that ranger. We'll leave him out. But anyone else doing any jobs, I don't care. Daton is just a peasant. Get in there and fight, buddy. And then, um,. Iden the Bone Carver, we can probably do away with him. We got two animal caretakers. Zuglar, go fight. And we'll put in a Thob. Thob. No, you're already in, already in the squad. Toasted, the animal detector. Sure. Okay, so we got a full squad of, uh, of, of dwarves now. Dwarves with hopefully with bows. Yeah, single core. Uh, there was an update though. Forty, did forty-five? Is that the last one? Did the last update do um, sixty-four bit? It wasn't multi, multi-threading, but it was sixty-four bit. That made a big increase, big help, I think. I think. Okay, so we've got migrants have arrived. Migrants have arrived. Got those shoes. Get those shoes, boys. Get those shoes, boys. Okay, when markets have arrived, let's speaking of shoes, let's do some 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 cloth industry. So we can put it in. Let's go down here. We'll set it down here across the street from from this one, which I didn't actually do anything with this yet. But we'll uh, we'll carve these out real quick. Let's dig. Um, there's our stair right there. I don't want to go on this side because this is where we go downstairs. So if something scary comes out, it'll chew on us. So let's put it over. Um, we can just connect it to this, I suppose. We'll have a door here, and then have clothing industry down this way. So we need like a loom. We need a um, uh, we'll, we'll see what we need. Let's see where we're at here. We need a loom. We need a uh, clothes shop. Is that it? Just the two? It might just be just the two because we already got the, the tanner and the leather worker. Uh, I think just the two is all we really need. We'll get the, you know, we already have the uh, the farmer's shop. Oh, we don't have a farmer's workshop. Oh, why not? Okay, we'll go on those two. Um, that'll get clothing industry started up. Let's, let's uh, speaking of that, that farmer's workshop, let's go do that. Which I thought I had in here, do I not? Did I put one in there? Let's put a farmer's workshop in here. This is going to be the guy that, uh, well, we'll see what he does in a second. Can I fit him in there? I can't. Mm, let's dig a little spot out over here. We'll stash it in like right here. Oops. Something like that. We'll stick a little farmer's workshop in there. That's way out there, isn't it? Ooh, hang on, hang on. Hang on. I don't want to go out there. I don't want to go too far. Yeah, it's too far out there. Um... Stashed over here on this side. Stashed like right here. That'll fit. There we go. <clears throat> I think it's looks like no dangers beneath the ground. Just keep digging. <laughs> okay, that bed's getting kind of annoying. Can you stop doing that, please? Um... I do want you to have it. Um, here, how about this? Let's let's change that to. Uh, um, at least 
Uh, let me check it monthly, I guess. That's maybe a bit... Maybe monthly? Let's make sure we have five beds every month. We'll do that. Okay. A baby's been born. A baby's been born. Deton Mestris has given birth to a girl. Deton's a girl name? Right. We got a baby. All right. Um, the problem, the, the reason they're not, they're not doing any of this is because everyone is is doing all this carving from inside here. So as soon as they're done carving the uh, the inside, all the floors and all that, then they will deal with this thing. Make my stone uh, go P, and then S for stone. Make this a little bigger. Just get all the big stones on pile for now. Get all these stones out of here. You can make them like you can hide hide them so you can't actually see them, but whatever. All right, back on down. There we go. Okay, this is ready to go. We got a human bowman visiting us. Uh oh, a human hammer is when maybe they'll join us. A crossbowman as well. Swordsman. Oh yeah, we got some sort of adventuring party coming in. Uh, let's go and build a. Uh, we're going to B and then W for workshops. We're going to put in a loom. Uh, ask me about loom, and then go right in there. Put some chalk in, and also we want to put in a clothers workshop, which is cake. Right there, so we can take our um, our threads, our pig pigtails, and make up some some threads. And at the, at the loom, make them in the cloth, take them to the clother, and make some clothing and some new shoes. And uh, it'll make people real happy. Real happy. And speaking of new people, I mean, we got we got just eight. That's all that came in. Well, that's kind of lame. You can also see we've got uh, Fath is leading a striking demonstration, which, which, uh, or sorry, Fath is watching. Like Eteb is leading. Two folks are defending their entrances. Excellent. Meditating on victory. Good thing to, to meditate on. Uh, let's go build some more more bedrooms. Let's let's try some. Um, should we do some some something a little more exciting? Some. Uh, let's do it. Let's do it. All right. So we're gonna put in another row of bedrooms over here. That's the plan. I think I want to. Um. Actually, let's let's do something like. We should go down another level. Let's do it. Let's do a whole separate bedroom down this way. So we're gonna put in uh, next along with the jail. It's fine. People like that. We're gonna come over this way to like that, and we'll put a whole bunch of bedrooms in here. So I'm gonna put in. We're gonna put in a little space. One, two, three, and then that. We're gonna put a bunch of bedrooms up this way, and then we're gonna do so. It's one, two wall. One, two wall. Okay. Get that right. All right, so let's do some some macros. So we're gonna hit Control R, which turns on the record button. Control R, and then we're gonna build whatever we want to do. Where it's recording whatever we make. So we're gonna go Enter, Enter, Enter up here. Very carefully, what we're doing. Okay, we made a bedroom. Now we're gonna go back to where we wanted to, where we started from, and then that's where we want the next bedroom to start. Okay, that's our macro. So we hit Control R again, which means turns off the recording part of the, of the game, and then we hit Control P, and it plays it. And we can control B again. It just plays, I think. So we can build bedrooms very fast. There we go. And we don't want to put one there because that would be not right. Uh, let's go back and do it again. This time we're going to do it up here, right uh, there. Did I do this right? Wall. So this door, one, two, space. I didn't do it right. Um, okay, let's do one more. So back, back to dig. Make sure dig is on. And we want to put in. So it's gonna be a it's one two, right there. Right there is where we want to start. It. So we're gonna go Control P. Control P. Okay. And then um, we can do another one if we wanted to. Um, down this way. Let's do another one down here. Let's build a whole bunch of bedrooms. We'll start it here. Oh, control B, not shift B. Like that. Okay. And then we're going to go dig another hallway here. Like that. And then we'll dig one over this way because I gotta fix this one. Fix 
that. We got one more we can do here. Yeah, ASCII can be very, pretty, pretty difficult. You know, honestly though, once you, once you get used to ASCII, I prefer texture packs also. But once you get used to ASCII, it really ain't too bad. Uh, it, it, it takes getting used to. But uh, it, compared to some texture packs, it's actually a little better than some texture packs, just because it's, it. Um, I mean, it's just something you get used to, I suppose. But it's, it's, it can be very. It looks really messy, as it is now. Even when every time I come into this, it always seems really messy. Um, but like the more I play it, the, cl the cleaner it can look. The more, the more you, the more you get into it. It has a certain beauty to it. That's right. All right, we're going to go to Control-R again. We're going to record again. So we do this all over again. So if you missed the first time, you get to see it again. Control-R. Record. And we're going to do what we want to do, which is like that, and then like that. And then we're going to come back to our spot. This is where we begin. And then hit Control-R again. Boop. And then Control-P. Just recording our, our keystrokes. Yep. that's And that's, uh, from according to the, uh, the, the newest update, that's basically what they're doing now is working on graphics for the new, uh, the new update. That's one thing, one reason, though, that I like having sound sense on, especially with ASCII, because not just for the music, but just for the uh, for the sound effects, it really helps. Because someone starts fighting, I, I I always miss the little the little alerts that pop up at the bottom of the screen, because if normally normally in Dwarf Fortress there's no sounds, uh, and so you you don't know if someone's getting someone's getting their face chewed off, you don't know unless you unless you catch the alert. Thanks, Daniel. Okay, there we go. We got a whole bunch of bedrooms getting built now. <clears throat> All right, let's see here. How are we how are we looking here? Those uh, those humans are in visiting, I guess the uh, the temple over here. Which is that? That's my temple, right? The girders of ex executing. Oh yeah, yeah, it is. There's um, so this is kind of a terrible place. There's no backs. There's no bogs, bogs, bogs or backses. Um, we need to uh, do something fancy in here. We also need to fix up our um, where's our guild at? This one, the farmer guild hall. They need to have. They want to build a guild hall, but they need to have. It needs to be worth something for them to actually build build a guild hall in here. So we got to give him some something fancy. We got to give him maybe a statue or something in the Lake of Rock. Which I don't remember what the Lake of Rock is. Where did I put that one? Is that this one? Yeah. So they want value in there. So we're going to see if we can do that. Uh, do we have any statues built? No. Let's go build some statues. Maybe we can carve this place out. Um, I want to go in D and then uh, and then smooth some stone. We'll smooth this place out real quick. i will make it a little bit nicer in there. Maybe we can carve. We'll carve some. Uh, we'll engrave some of the stone once we smooth it. And we'll go to our our mason here and tell him to get on work on some statues. Do those now in. Oops. Like that. Get some statues made. We'll put a couple statues in there. Hopefully get our value raised up. Yeah, you have to hit R to catch to catch those, like that one right there. Most commander is fighting, which probably just doing a demonstration. R and, and A to catch all the stuff flowing by. What's that? Cancels um, building. Which one? What's in the way? Seems like I got everything made to me. Oh, the closure shop is suspended. Make that. Okay, the loom is almost done. Okay, loom done. Loom done. Alright, so I want you to... We can. This is a job that we can actually send people out to go do. So we got the caverns dug out. Uh, there's probably spiders down there. There usually is. So we can have them send down there and just go collect webs to make silk stuff out of. Uh, we can also just just weave some cloth out of our plant thread, which is what we're going to be doing. Um, also, if we had some um, some sheep, we could we could weave their wool into things as well. And there's there is a thing called there is some metal cloth out in the game. We'll uh, we we may get to that one of these days. Uh, we want to weave some cloth, in weave some thread in the cloth. I'm just gonna tell them to do it all the time. And I also want them to do um, the wool, because I don't know if we have any, but if we do, just just do it. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and set up a stockpile here of uh, cloth down here. 
we'll just stash it. We'll just stash it down here. So if there's cloth, they can they can get to it easily. Commons and periods are rough floor, yeah. And the the, the little these little specks here, these little circles, those are rocks. There's chalk, chalk, uh, chalk. Mm -mm. There. What's wrong? It's clickable item. Do I have any foods? Foods? Uh, no, we don't have any food. Why not? A lot of plum at spawn. We have a lot of seeds, but no, uh, no food. I guess we got just a bunch of. Hmm. Are, they, are they growing? Are you growing those seeds? Growing faster. Okay, yeah, they're going. Uh, let's go find this thing's finally made up. Let's go ahead and put it in our farmer shop, which is W, farmer's workshop. It's just gonna go there. Make sure there's no gray spots or uh, darker colored spots covering your hole. You can't walk through that. Yeah, we are, you can see the little plus signs. The plus signs are are smoothed. So we're we're getting there. It's just taking a little while. We had a bunch of new dwarves come in, a few anyway. Anyone staying around doing nothing? Most people are just storing things, probably just hauling rocks around. Um, yeah, they're all hauling these rocks around. That's what's going on. Why don't you use some wheelbarrows? Do we have any of those? I'd make a lot faster if we had wheelbarrows. Hey, why don't you make me some of those? Make me a maybe like a bunch of these. A bunch of wheelbar wheelbarrows at the carpenter shop. Help haul these rocks around. I know they're just pulling them. They're just picking them up and slowly dragging them around. Build that statue yet? Yeah, let's put a couple statues in here. Statue there, statue over there. There we go. If we wanted to, we could increase the value. We could put that pedestal, right? We made that uh, that duck statue, that wooden duck from last time. If we put that, uh, the duck's on there. I think we got it on there. Um, if we move that into that that room, I think that would increase the quality of it quite a bit too. Can you play in peaceful mode if you wanted? Um, maybe. If you, um, if you, like, build on, like, a little island. Away from everything. In, yeah, in a serene setting. Then you can play pretty, pretty peacefully. Um, if you're not gonna get, you can get invaded by neighbors. And if there's no neighbors nearby. But you can't, oh, you can't really be sure that there's no werebeasts or monsters nearby. But you can, um... Yeah, probably the easy way would be find a serene spot and find it as far away from goblins, necromancers as possible. Don't dig down, yeah. How are we doing on that on that value now? It didn't change anything. Went up a tiny bit. Uh, once it gets smooth, maybe we can figure it, uh, make it a little fancier. I'm not sure what we can do in here to make it look. What can we do to build? Uh, what can we make to make them? Like this place a little more. I'm not sure. Offering place. That's a new button. Offering place. Offering placement. Is that altar? That that is altar. Okay. Ah, all right. All right. Tips for getting better frame rates. Um, make sure you have good paths for everyone. Like double wide uh, hallways. I think pathing is usually an issue. Usually, I notice my frame rate start dropping whenever I start. I start jumping into the into the uh, into the caverns. Was my frame rate usually starts to tank? Did you uh, stop doing that? Horrified? Why? What's out here? Is there a ghost? Is there something out here? Are you scared of the stork? We'll get over it. Needs yarn. Yeah. Um, needs. Yeah. So we don't have any of that yarn or anything. All right. Um, Farmer's Workshop, I want you to go ahead and process some plants, please. Let's do it on repeat. And I want you to also... Um, do we milk animals if we got it. Shear them if you can. Spin some thread, sure. And, uh, and and make some cheese. That's the thread that we need for the other guy down down there. 
Um, let's see. We could go down to our cavern. Head on down here. Is there spiders down here? Autumn is here. I'm sure there is. There's the floor. Have you seen any webs? Is that a web? Spider web. So if we build a door, uh, a stairway down here, we could we could run down here, grab some webs, Sorry, I can't do it, sir. make some silk stuff. Yeah, you can build a tower. There's my stairs, right there, and then it, oh, that's not it. That, which was that was when we started to, but it, it, we sort of just end there. Uh, we could cut it over and then meet up the land. Do we want to do this? Yeah, let's do this. So there's our stairwell. It goes to there. Let's just go ahead and dig over. Uh, not that far. Like over to here. Where was it? I want to meet up like right here. Actually, that's actually pretty good. Perfect. Right in that little wall there is where we'll come out. So we'll do up, down, stair, going down to, to the level, ground level, right there. And we'll have an entrance into this cavern. We want to make sure we have a door there in case there's some scary things. There's probably some spiders and stuff down here. Uh, but these, uh, all these, these asterisks are, uh, are webs, and we want to pick them up because we can make clothes out of them. Some little, little things running around. Okay. Um, speaking of metal, I get this all and all going. I don't know if I ever really messed with it too much. Um, I do have. I guess I did get a little bit of it done. Because we've got some ash laying there. Nothing to smell. I don't have any metal in this place. Ashery. We've got some soap maker. Oh, yeah. Soap maker. And the metalsmith's forge. I don't have any metals to really do anything with this. So if I did, I can make all kinds of iron things. But I don't have any iron or anything like that. Um, we have to make... You, you smelt the iron in the bars. And then... Uh, well, you take the rocks and, and melt them down. You know, make them into bars. And then you can get whatever you want. But let's go make a... Can we make some soap? We need Oil and tallow. What was I missing with this? I need some unrotten tallow or oil containing item. It would be like animal fat, right? Where do I do that at? I thought the butcher did that. Extract? Doesn't he do that anyway? Hmm. I'm not sure. Make sure all my animals that came in whenever we uh, we got those new migrants are uh, are out here. Let's go to uh, I. This is my pasture for my animals. Anyone new that came in, let's make sure they're out there. I like this cow. And we have a boar. Uh, the chicken we can put in this other spot over there. We got a turkey hen. The cats can hang out where they want to. So let's go back over here where this one is. Up this way. Make sure the the turkey is, uh, we do have an alpaca, so I guess we can have some sheared. Where'd that turkey go? I guess he's already in there. Okay, yeah. I guess I didn't see the thing on the, the green thing on the side. Alright. So we're good. Some animals have to eat outside, otherwise they starve. Hey, village. <clears throat> I wonder if we could... I wonder if I could pull up um, Armok Vision with this mode. You think I could? I bet I probably could. We could try. Let's see 3D, um, 3D door forges. Rock crystal. Petrified wood. Oh, let me go down here and make sure that we have this. Here, I want to go to... Where was that at? Here. I'm going to go to here and hit shift, um, I'll go to H, shift H, and then F2. So we'll zoom here, Z, to zoom here whenever we're starting to hit F1, F2. Needs fish. Needs logs. Chop some trees down then. D and T. Chop some trees down. Whereas once I started this, I, I should have gotten this program out there that like, every time every keystroke you'd hit shows up on the screen. I should have done that so I can see what buttons I'm hitting here for this. Hey, Scoop Dog. Let's put a door here for my chickens. And you know what? I'm going to put a couple doors here. This might help out 
some defense as well. Not mine. Uh, what am I doing? B, D. I'm going to put a couple doors here. So in case we do something that does break through, we can at least have those doors. We can lock those doors real quick. Let me show that real quick. I'm talking about defense today. Um, if you hit Q on a door, an open door here, we can lock it if we want to. L forbids passage. The door's locked. Uh, pets, however, can still go through. So if you want to uh, O, keep it tightly closed, which means no pets go through, nothing goes through that door. So O and L is how you lock doors. And uh, say it may save you quite a bit. So if you see something coming, lock it up. Uh, Outpost liaison has come through. Keepish. All right. Here they come. Here comes the wagons. I'm a fisherman. Coming into the fortress. Here they come. And unloading some goods. Can it smash the door in? Some things, yeah. Some things can destroy the doors. Not everything, though. Some things can't. Alright, what are we going to sell these guys? Let's sell them. Um, let's see. What do we want to sell them? We have some grown coconut palm arrows. Yeah, I don't think I have any bows. We have we have crossbows. Oh, we have a, a bin of gems. I should really worry about start growing something to sell. Make something to sell. This is all stuff from the elves that we stole a while back. Um, do we have any crafts? We have a, I have a few things. I'll sell my crafts off. We can make new ones. Um, there's a few instruments. Do I? Yeah, I'll sell them all. We made those wheelbarrows. We can sell a couple of those, I guess. I didn't really make anything that's worth selling, which is probably, a, a, I, I think, something you should do. Um, make things to sell. Otherwise, we got no money coming in. We'll do this for now. Um, let me go look at... I thought I did set up something here. But let's go to the... Oh, the jeweler might be good, actually. Cut some gems. Cherry opals and, and some... What do we have a lot of? Petrified wood. Sure, cut some cut some gems. Maybe we can sell those things. We can also encrust things with gems. But the real easy way of making some cash is go to the craft wharf and pick rock or wood. Whatever you want to make it out of. Rock and make rock crafts. Make rock mugs. Uh, these both sell pretty easily. You can make... Uh, I mean, anything. Dice. Rock dice? Let's sell dice here. Make them. Make them now. Make some dice so I can sell them. 